Hey everyone, Tony here from Dowcaster. Today, I'm gonna go over five up and coming space themed blockchain games that you can ape into right now. Quick disclaimer though, before I start, none of this is financial advice. I have not been paid to promote any of these and we'll start at number five and work our way to number one, which means that they get better. And some of these are built on Ethereum. And while I hate those gas fees, just stick around for the Solano games, trust me. Here we go. First up is Troverse, built on the Ethereum blockchain. Troverse is 10,000 giant, lively 3D planets that players can explore and excavate for highly valuable NFT treasures, all spread across this galaxy in an open world, third person, survival, exploration game powered by Unreal Engine. But it doesn't just stop at owning the planet NFT. Sure, eventually people can enter the game without a planet NFT, but Entering early has its advantages. Yes, you can still be the first to mint these, by the way. Each planet owner will have their own headquarters deployed on their planets that provides instant access and unlocks way more gameplay features. And the coolest part is that owners will receive a portion of resources gathered and treasures discovered by other players on their planets. Starting this month, in February of 2022, they'll be auctioning off the first planet NFTs in what we call a Dutch auction. The second game is Influence. Also built on Ethereum, Influence is a grand strategy space MMO backed by NFTs and set in the distant asteroid belt. In this game, you'll be able to colonize asteroids, build infrastructure, discover technologies, engage in combat, and expand your influence across the belt. Influence is built around a finite set of 250,000 unique asteroids, each possessing a unique combination of resources and possible bonuses. Players can purchase the rights to asteroids or choose to start for free on Adalia Prime. Once a player has chosen where they'll play, they will be able to start mining, building, and refining the material drawn up from beneath the surface of their asteroid. Ultimately, to earn sway tokens. Oh, I get it, sway, like to influence, to sway. So the way you play influence is actually as crewmates, or you could have up to five of these active crewmate NFTs that can each follow their own skill tree. Now this game is still in its infancy, but I'll be keeping my eyes on it for sure. The third game is Dark Frontiers. This one gets extra bonus points because I love the story. Check this out. It's 2150 AD. Planet Earth is destroyed by a nuclear explosion and humanity has been put on the verge of extinction. The only survivors left are those who were in space at the time of destruction and now must find refuge on another celestial body. International Moon Base Alpha is where most survivors seek refuge at first. Then from here they can see their home world dwindling before them while escaping to safety with no technology or knowledge beyond what's available within approximate reach. In the aftermath, it's every man for himself. Some seek comfort in forming factions or guilds, while most rely only on themselves to survive. It doesn't take long for survivors to discover the first signs that point toward a more formidable civilization. The race to find the first artifacts and resources begins as each new planet that is explored has its secrets uncovered. The traces left behind by this ancient civilization are clues that will lead you on a journey across space. So you start with a spacesuit NFT. Then you mine, explore, discover new worlds, upgrade your gear, and explore further into the depths of space to find clues and relics left behind by this ancient civilization to find out what happened to Earth, all of which are NFTs that interact within this game. Meteor strikes bring fresh resources into the game. They'll have a full DAO with governance for contributors. And this game is different from the others. It's on the Binance Smart Chain, but it's on this list because I'm captivated from a more gaming and storytelling perspective than anything. Definitely a fresh game in a really crowded play to earn space. I may have to dive deeper on this white paper. Fourth game is Plutonians. Where do we start with Plutonians? Okay, first, it's got a killer website. Love the website. But in the actual game, you'll be combining classic shooter action with strategy, in-game co-op, building, collecting, all that. You could be a pirate, a diplomat, friendly aide to those in the nearest cantina, and check this out. It has a single player mission, which I haven't seen in almost any play to earn metaverse game. And when you finish it, you can build your own missions with the level editor. And of course, you can visit other levels that the community has made as well. However, whereas I'm typically most excited about the gaming aspects, the blockchain mechanics might be the coolest on this one. First, it's platform agnostic, meaning these NFTs aren't locked on Ethereum or Solana or Binance. They plan to make all of your NFTs transferable to any game or metaverse. So hypothetically, you can take your spaceship from Plutonians and fly it into your works meeting in Meta's Horizon. I guess we can not finish that meeting. Time to go early, guys. Nice. But all that still leaves the coolest part out. 
you can actually demo this game today with your Oculus headset at Pluto.Quest. I'm definitely going to try this out, but if you want me to record it, let me know. Lastly, and in my opinion, the greatest space-themed game being built on the blockchain is, I'll say it in a moment, but let me say a couple things first. One, it's being built on Solana, meaning ultra-fast and super low gas fees. Two, it's being built on Unreal Engine 5, which is a huge deal, let me tell you why. A company called Cloud Imperium Games tried to build a game in 2011 called Star Citizen. It's actually really, really fun, it's really cool. They originally wanted it to take a couple of years to make, but 11 years later, today, they still haven't finished the alpha. This is because they wanted to create their own gaming engine for it. Now, while I think Star Citizen could end up being the greatest game in the world in 30 years, seriously, it's, it's really cool. The game I'm highlighting in this video has chosen to build on Unreal Engine 5, which is perfectly capable of producing a AAA MMORPG. Some games already built on UE5 are Wukong Black Myth and the crowd favorite, Fortnite. This game is Star Atlas. Star Atlas is an MMORPG currently in production to be released slowly over the next three years. Now, the reason why it's at the top of my list is, one, you can already buy NFTs and stake them on the DAO. On the in-browser minigame, you can send the ships on missions and they'll earn you Atlas tokens. So they basically already offer what 80% of all play to earn games are doing right now. Now this game will be a grand strategy game based in outer space where you can join one of three factions, mine raw materials from planets, refine that raw material for building materials, use those building materials to build structures and ships, or use the ships and structures to dominate the galaxy. And all of these transactions, all of this mining, refining, building, all of these are transactions in their in-game economy, all on the DAO. Now, in addition to dominating your way to power, you can also govern your way to power. Owning their Polis token will allow you to stake it to the DAO and vote on the future of the game development, as well as govern the areas in-game. Oh, and did I mention it was gonna be VR compatible? Later this year, you'll be able to put on a VR headset and enter your ship in its showroom. Also, they've partnered with Sparasoft, who have helped develop games such as Halo Infinite, Mortal Kombat, FIFA 22, Battlefield 2042, Assassin's Creed, League of Legends, Call of Duty, Diablo 3, Star Wars Battlefront, Outer Worlds, and more. Whew. If that doesn't convince you, they've got the coolest lore in the metaverse, and the Star Atlas metaverse is where I'll be spending probably most of my time as of now. Thanks so much for joining as I went through these top five space-themed blockchain games. If there was something I missed, something you wanted me to elaborate on, another game that you wanted me to dive deeper in, a team you want me to interview, something you want me to demo, anything at all, let me know in the comments. I read and respond to every single one. Now, if you'd like this video and you'd like to see more, please consider subscribing to this video and clicking the bell icon to be alerted when I post more. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.